Roads? It's the Ernest Hancock Show. Where we're going, there aren't any roads. Welcome back to Declare Your Independence with me, Ernest Hancock. And I'm looking here for Silver Calculator on the market app store for Droid. And uh, I'm trying to see if it says how many. I mean, it's got great reviews. It's rated great and wonderful. Description, you should. Everybody ought to. And downloads, downloads, downloads. How many does it say? How about I just tell you? Tell me. We're about to clear 5,000. I can't say when because I don't know, but it, it's listed on the Droid Market page, which you can find links to the various apps on what is this CoinWorth.info. It says it's in the 1,000 to 5,000 category, but I happen to know it's in the 4,000s. So it's on its way, and, um, you know, we've, I've compared it to similar apps. Kitco has an app uh, for Droid with over 50,000 downloads. So there's definitely a, a base of people that are interested in silvers and precious metals to the point where this app will eventually, with the, some more promotions and the more we talk about it, get it out there to people. Uh, we, we feel that, it, that tons of people will be using this, and it, again, it's just another tool to encourage the barter currency, like Peter Schiff was alluding to in his article. And, and the dime cards just go hand-in-hand hand with the, uh, the app itself, and now with Silver Circle getting their 10-ounce rounds into circulation, and Del Valley having some beautiful quarter-ounce and half-ounce rounds in circulation. All of these coins and cards are you know, calculable with this application and also goes both ways to not only add up the values but then make change for somebody on the second page, the solver page. You type in the FRN amount, the dollar amount, and it tells you how many coins or Shire Silver cards or whatever will make that price and you can make change to somebody uh, in, in the marketplace. So we're, we're really encouraged by uh, the success of Porkfest and the popularity of the, not only the app but the dime cards as well. And well, I, I'll back. tell you, the big thing, Drew, is that it eliminated all the excuses because everybody that's always said, they go, yeah, but I don't know how much and I can't and the spot price and current and yada, yada, yada. All you do is you just push a button. It gives, boom, the immediate current spot price update. And you know what that coin is worth right, not later. And I'm going, this is I, I every excuse I've ever heard when we were first talking about this at Freedom Summit in December of uh, 2010, just not too many months ago, within a week and a half, they had the app. I mean, I, I don't remember it being more than, I mean, it was still in December that they got it, wasn't it? It, it came out as a beta, and we all had it on our phones pretty quick, but uh, it got polished uh, over maybe a month's period, and, and it was ready to go. And and the and, updates have been, you know, just over Pork I think they updated it in a few days, probably two, three times. And it was just so, it's getting more and more convenient. Of course, I had to relearn, you know, where all the buttons were. But I'll tell you, this is so simple, it's dangerous. And it's dangerous to the big bad guys. And they don't. And the fact that you got Mises is already talking about it and Schiff and everybody and all, you know, Dr. Paul during the campaign might uh, kind of a little something, something hitting the old Daily Paul there and Freedom's Phoenix and promote. And it's just beginning. This is just the beginning. And I know where this is going. I was really excited when you guys came up with this concept. And you're keeping it kind of secret there for a while, too. You wanted to wait till you got your first ones out. But, you know, talk about the tenth ounce rounds, because they're a little bit larger than the dime. They're like a penny. And tell us how you were using those. Yeah, they, they are the, basically the size of a penny. And so when, when, when they showed up, when the Silver Circle movie group showed up, I knew that they were offering these 10-ounce rounds, and the neat thing that they were offering was value for value. I could go over there and give them a generic one-ounce round or bar, and they would give me 10 10-ounce rounds in return, so no premium. Uh, if you paid cash, you did pay a premium for their silver. Uh, so I thought that was exciting, and I had brought some generic silver rounds, and I traded with them, so I got plenty of these things. And then in the marketplace... Uh, some people were taking them for exact uh, value, so it would be like uh, $3.60 something cents at the time. But some people were rounding up just because they didn't want to deal with the loose change and, you know, would give you $4 worth of a sandwich for a 10 ounce round. So those were a lot of fun. And then we realized, you know, they fit in the dime cards just as well. So why don't we make some of those? And now, uh, you know, they say they have the information for the dimes and the, the, the coin silver on the back. But all the same, you can see it right there. You know what it is. It's got their beautiful logo on it. And you see that that's the Silver Circle 10th ounce rounds. Again, those were instantly accepted in the marketplace. People, you know, were comfortable with them and familiar with them and knew what it was and could easily calculate what it was worth. 
and you could get four dollars worth of, of products for and, it. And, so, and, and that's pretty much how it went. The, the dimes went because it's the first time, and so on. And it was. And I, I tell you what happened. You know, I, I'm to blame a little bit because you had done hundreds of these, at least a couple hundred of these dimes cards promoting Freedom's Phoenix for me. And immediately, we were one of the first ones there. I went to everybody and showed, oh, here's the app, and here's the card, and here it's worth, uh, oh, I think it was 256 or 60 or something at the time. I go, yeah, I'll do you a solid, and we'll just make it 250 even. It's easy to calculate, and blah, blah, blah. And man, they just flooded. Everybody was using them, but, you know, uh, you know you've been happier if we got them at three. But then no, when you... It- in the long run, I'm happy you did that because you were able to put more of them out into circulation. And like you said, you win because it has your marketing material and your website on it. So, no, I was in, in looking back on it, I'm really glad that you did that because it did help give everybody an education as to what was going on. And we'll, you know, we'll come back next year with something bigger and better and we'll figure out how to, uh, you know, we're not, we haven't made any, any ill choices yet. We're not losing anything yet. But, well, uh, well we, this you is know, it. I, before we run out of time, I want to tell this story. You had the one ounce rounds were at spot out. It, pretty much, it was thirty five dollars. Okay, thirty five dollars. You're getting bigger stuff. Then you had the two fifty for the dime cards. Then it was four dollars for the tenth ounce rounds, and they had eleven hundred of those. And Silver Circle Movie you now put those out, and Del Valley had their own, and boom, and they went out. And and that's another thing. Silver Circle showed the trailer of their movie. Freedom's Phoenix got some logos in there. Yeehaw, man! I'm like, yeah. So I'm really proud of that. The other thing is, is that um, you had other Shire Silver was being used as dollar change, you know. So whenever you needed change, they were giving Shire Silver cards back as change. So this is all working out well. But I want you to tell the story of this New Hampshire representative, a legislator that came up and he found out that you had a bunch of the Silver Circle tenth ounces, and he wanted one. He found, nobody was giving them up. Nobody had them, and he goes, "All oh, these guys," and I had met him before i know some of the legislators up there that were libertarians and so on i'd spoken last weekend at a libertarian event before pork fest and they're going they're all proud of themselves that you know they're legislators and they did something and whenever they're trying to tout how great they were they did whatever the budget people were booing them off the stage i mean they didn't want to have nothing to do with politics well he one of the gentlemen introduced that i knew introduced me to this other representative he came up to you and he wanted to get them and i knew they were trading at four dollars and when he started talking, he's saying, oh, I'm a freedom fighter. And, you know, I pulled him to the side, and I and I said, look, man, if you tell him you're a legislator, I guarantee they're going to cost more. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 and tell us what happened. Well, yeah, I, I, I didn't uh, try to overcharge him for it. Maybe I wanted to. I should have said, if you buy something, I'll make change with it. So I should have sold him a $5 piggy bank for $6 and then gave him one as change for 10 total. But, no, he, he was a nice enough guy, and I just said, well, it's $4, and I sold him one. But, yeah. No, I, I, to really quickly say about the Free State Project, even all the people that are involved in the political process. Well, initially, after so, you found out he was a legislator, you told him six dollars, and he was mad. <laughs> I, 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 I was kidding, though. I didn't. I charged him four for it. But okay. I was encouraged by the Free State Project. Someone who was skeptical of it, and not entirely a big fan of their concept of how to achieve freedom, I was thoroughly impressed by both sides: the the non-political action side, and even those in, in the political realm uh, for what they do. I thought the Free State Project was really, I was really impressed with what, they, what their program is and what they're all about, how passionate they are about it. And it was the perfect place for these dime cards to explode and for our silver uh, app and, and all that we've been doing with encouraging this barter currency. It, it was just the perfect place for it. It gained immediate acceptance, and I was just thrilled that the experiment worked. And like I said, next year we'll come back with something bigger and better. Like what? Quarter cards. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you, okay, all right, all right. All right. Well, we, we got other ideas, but that's, you know, that's what I got, so. Okay, well, you know, these credit card size, it's good, because a quarter goes for how much now? Like seven, eight bucks or something? Yeah, it's like six something, I think. We're back down to 34 or something. And, you know, but, yeah, 12, 13 for a half dollar. So, I mean, you know, you know, you can just have a few coins in your pocket and the cards, and you got your uh, ap- application for your smartphone, and all of a sudden you got some cash walking around with you. Well, and one of the things that, you know, if anyone saw the piggy banks, I'm going to try to put those on uh, Liberty or uh, LibertyTrade.net later, uh, when the more of the supplies are with Nick in Indiana, so we're slowly getting home here. But uh, the point of the piggy banks was it came with two pennies in it, a steel penny and a wheat penny, and it was an education process for your children to say, hey, teach your kids to look through their coins. They might find some of rare value. And we didn't even get to talk about Liberty 
Trade.net, which is a, a whole different website that was featured in one of the articles also. And I'm going, ooh, Tom Westbrook must be happy with that. Oh, that you know, things are going really well for you. And I'm glad that, you know, there are the the activists, the the anarchists that are putting it into action so that the, like you say, the free staters, the people that are being elected to office, the legislators there, that they're not getting complacent like they're, oh yeah, see, we 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 blazed a trail to freedom when you got the anarchists are already living it. And they're just, you know, so that they don't get too complacent, the bar is set really high. What is this coin worth dot info? Go check it out, man. Sweeping the nation. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readersofreedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readersofreedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured.